Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steve, and today, chums, for you guys, in the view of us, I'm going to be doing some experimentation, people. So, yeah, hold on to your seats because some strange stuff is happening in the realms of No Man's Sky inside of the game files. Let's jump on over and I'll show you what's going on, people. Chicka pow! There I am on the old tinterwebs with my Winamps. Heck yeah, it's got my Winamps playing. Right, so that bomber boy over on the Twitter space has said that he's found some files inside of the game which sound a little bit interesting. Interesting isn't the word. They're freaking terrifying people. So I've hit on up his Google Drive, jumped over to his Google Drive, downloaded all of these images. Yeah, well, not images, these OG files, OG files, they're music files, essentially in a Mac type format. I've converted them to a WMV. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll get to that in a moment because another chap has put out this to say, yeah, they've um, used this program to convert them and get some sort of pretty strange images. She sees through there and there's, there's, not, a, there's not a fifth one. She through, sees through there what? A lot of people are saying she sees through their eyes, just like he says here. There is one for eyes as well. So this is pretty darn freaking terrifying. And it kind of links into some of the lore that we've seen inside of games. I, I see her or yeah, and also the void mother. So I think this could be stuff that's been hidden inside the game, not necessarily to come into the game. <sighs> Hello Games done a thing called an ARG, so like an augmented reality experience, and they put sound bites on cassette tapes and sent them to people, content creators mainly, like Cobra and stuff like that, back in the day. And on those tapes were words encoded in a very similar sort of style and format, not as terrifying as the sound files. I'll play you the sound files in a moment, and then we're going to run them through this program here to see if we get the same results as what Prime One has got over on Twitter of us people in the viewer verse, I guess. So we go. I'm going to give them a follow. There we go. There we go. Whoops. Follow. Boom. Following. There we go. Because they definitely deserve a follow for putting this this way. So it almost feels like Hello Games are building their own ARG inside of the game files because they know that we go and do all data mining. And also inside of the game with these digital sort of zeros and ones. And also the, even the folder that the Apple Mac um update was in was a rot 13 sort of encryption the b jerry thing well that said orwell which put us to the you know 1985 apple mac trailer so they're doing a lot of the arg sort of shenanigans inside of game and outside of game and it's hello games doing this one and uh yeah pretty interesting now the last time that we had the arg running they put out a massive update next next was one of the biggest updates and they used the arg to sort of promote and hype that up and now they're doing their own like mini arg themselves i'm starting to get a little bit more hyped than i was especially with, with sean murray saying this year is going to be a big one and they've got more to come in the very near future I'm getting quite excited, people. I don't know whether I can hold back the hype much longer. Anyway, let's bring up my actual audio program. I'm using, I'm, it's kind of an audio visual program. This, this is Power Director. So I put in all the OG files. I put them in a little, I put them down on the timeline. I've hit produce and I've produced them into a WAV file over here because that's what the website takes. But before I do that, I'm just going to play you what this sounds like. So let's just go back over into edit mode. Not that you're going to see much of a visual on screen, but you are going to hear the audio. Now, if you don't like terrifying sound effects, you might want to cover your ear holes, but this only lasts for about a minute and like 20 seconds. Here we go. Right, pretty terrifying. If it gets worse, it's gonna get loud. <laughs> it 
Okay, now that's the end of the actual sound bite, and um, it's dodgy, isn't it? It almost sounds like conveyor belts and pulleys and rubber bands and things. I don't know how they've created these sound effects, but they're freaking disturbing. I don't think they're coming into game, though. I think they've been deliberately put inside of the game files to sort of spell out this new bit of lore that might be coming. I think it's all leading to something. I mean, we might get something like that appearing inside of the game, but I think if it did, they might have to consider changing the age rating slightly. <laughs> right, anyways, let's um, let's go and put it into the spectral analyzer and see if we get these same results. So here we go. Spectrogram image. So this is it over here. AudioAlter.com spectrogram. Browse computer. And I'm going to be picking up produce 01 and open. This is the spectral analysis that it's going to be doing, which is put it on sweet. Okay. And yeah, is that the widest I can do? Um, I think it is on the free mode. But you know what? Let's try and make it a little bit wider. Let's go for that. And let's hit generate. Generate. Boom. It's processing. Oh, and there we go. She sees through their eyes. Yeah, I'm seeing exactly the same freaking thing here, people. <laughs> oh, I think this is a warning of the void mother. There we go. We made it nice and big on the screen. I'm going to save that image. Heck yes, I am. Boom. That's probably going to be my thumbnail. I'll just chuck that into my PNG folder. Lovely jubbly. And uh, that's all downloaded. So there we are, people. That's... The morning cup of tea with Captain Steve. I admittedly I've, I've finished drinking my tea while I was downloading all the files and stuff, people. But yes, this was a lovely cup of tea. I'm gonna go and refill it. <laughs> Cheers, people. Oh my days. Um So yeah, I think this is all building to something. I think this is building into bringing the void and the void mother into iteration i'm hoping that we can go into the void i'm hoping that we can rescue ariadne if she hasn't become the void mother who freaking knows i mean the void mother when you look at the law comes from when the when corvax prime got destroyed and all the sort of the, the nanites that came from the corvaxian blood was then used to sort of docile the gek race and that's why you got all those warnings of don't drink of the water and all that sort of stuff. And now I don't know who she, whose eyes she's seeing through. Whose eyes is she seeing through? I'm wondering whether it's the fallen travellers that we see inside of the stations. Could it be them? Or is it the station core? It looks like a bloody giant eyeball, mate. And then apparently well, that's where we last got the message from. Um, or is it a whole new race? There is mention inside of the abandoned stations that there's these entities that are sort of like half flesh and half machine. When the Corvax themselves tried to re recreate the Abyss, and they ended up losing their noggins, their heads. They turned into giant balls of light instead. There's a lot of different things this could be. There's a lot of different things that this could allude to. But one thing for certain, inside of the game, it mentions the Void Mother. And now it says she sees through their eyes, and she sees you, or I see her. It does sort of point to a being of sorts. The Void Mother. Yep, yeah, and you know, we've got Void Ships. They came from Void Eggs. And like, you can only assume that Void Eggs came from the Void. So the Void is a place. And the Void Mother is the mother over that Void. And if we're seeing these sort of organic living ships coming out of the Void, and also these Leviathan type sized frigates, what else might be inside of this Void? And we can only but wait and see. Heck yes, I am pretty excited, people in the viewers. Because the last time that we had this sort of stuff going on, the ARG is when we got next. And next was the biggest update that we've had in the way that it changed and uplifted and changed the actual game mechanics. So I'm hoping for something big off the back of this because this is a lot of hype this is a lot of they've gone to some real effort to put this inside of the game files knowing that we're going to find it they've done this deliberately ah thoroughly excited anyway sound off in the comments let me know what you guys think out there inside the viewer verse because i would love to hear your thoughts and feelings on all of this and uh, yeah i 
I'm fully stoked and I'm hoping that this um, expedition that we might be building this little robot, I know I said maybe the robot won't amount to much, but if it's part of all this new sort of lore and this sort of update, who knows, it might be the start of something. A little bit like um, we've got those worm babies inside of the Emergence sort of uh, expedition. Well, they're inside of game now on Infested Planets. And Infested Planets look like it's like Void Leak or sort of Void Creep, as I've called it in the past, where it looks like our own sort of universe is getting infected by the void. Now it does make you wonder if the Sentinels through the station core and through their phages found at the Sentinelized camps with those digital codes are trying to warn us about the actual void and the void mother and the creep that we're seeing into our universe and perhaps even against using our living ships or the Leviathans if they are from the void. I mean after all we actually extracted souls to place into our living ship. It was a bit sinister. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna beat about the bush. That was very sinister. If you haven't done the star birth quest line, it's pretty sinister. But if you haven't done it, you might as well hit it up. You know what? I put a link over to the right hand side. Go and hit that one up, and that, that's my actual playthrough of the living ship. So yeah, maybe you might be able to pick up some of the lore and look at some of the things that happen inside of that quest line just to see how sinister it actually is. Because it is pretty sinister. Even if you don't use a living ship, it's worth doing it just for the lore. Anyway, people, that's everything I've got for you, but I, I am thoroughly excited to run this expedition to see what else comes into verse when it comes to lore. And I'm wondering whether the Sentinels are trying to warn us that there's a bigger foe out there than them. I mean, after all, the Sentinels were there to protect the Atlas. They're the space police. You know, and all the other races, yes, they had their wars, they had their little factions, but it seems to be that the Gek annihilating Korvax Prime has brought about something else inside of the verse, some sort of corruption, some sort of virus. I mean, that's the way I see it. You know, I mean, these infested planets are covered in jumping freaking worms. Worm virus! Yeah, that's how I see it. And it's sort of creeping through from planet to planet, or node to node of the simulation. That's kind of how viruses spread, people. So yeah, are we going to be the antivirus? <laughs> anyway, people, that's everything I've got for you. Salute to Mondo. A lot of food for thought for a Monday. <laughs> but hopefully we're going to see something happening this week. I would like to hope we're going to see something happening this week with the Apple Mac WWDC showcase, whether it's just the announcement that um, they're releasing VR and AR for Apple Mac and maybe... No Man's Sky is going to work on that platform. There was a whole load of new icons there that did show some controls that I haven't seen before. So there we go, people. That's everything I've got for you now. I'm definitely ending off. Salute to Mondo. Cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.